Eileen Wang's a great player. She won the season, you know, every single match. She didn't even lose one set throughout the season. She was extremely pumped up throughout the whole thing. Um, she gave 100% effort at every single match, which obviously showed she won 6-0, right up until the finals. Eileen's just super, super confident out there. She's mentally strong. I'm extremely proud of Eileen, not just um, because she's a great tennis player, but she's a really good person. She's a very smart girl, team player, um, supported all the girls and, and was there for them as well. So I think I'm not only proud of her as a tennis player, but I'm very proud of her as a person um, and as a, a quality student. They were pumped up at the end of that game. I gotta tell you, it was, uh, it was great to see. The work that they put in during the season in practice, I mean, these guys were playing multiple games in a week. People were sore, people were hurting, but they dug down, you know, they played their hearts out, especially that last game, but really all season long. I couldn't be prouder of the effort. And not only that, I couldn't be prouder of, you know, how they interacted with each other, with the coaches and the other teams. I mean, this was just a, a class group of, of young men right from the start. I mean, these are the kind of guys you like to see rewarded based on how they carry themselves on and off the field. They'll look back on this the rest of their life and, and they, they earn that through their work. And we use the word pressure is a privilege. You know, we don't want to run the other way from pressure. We want to, uh, you know, embrace it. You know, fear has two meanings, forget everything and run or face everything and rise. And there's nothing in life where we, we should not, we should only go half season. I, I, we we re really value that as a coaching staff and, and the energy and everything, meaning no matter whether it's a meeting, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's uh, on the practice field, whatever you're doing in life, you bring maximum energy. And, you know, we really lived it and we embodied it in matches as well. And it's really who we are and what we believe and what we stand for. She just pushed through that last mile of the course and ended up winning the race by over a minute. You could just see that she was just ecstatic when she crossed that line. She's the type that always turns around to congratulate, you know, her competitors. And I mean, just to see how much she won by, I think she was, she shocked herself. You know, I thought she she knew she had a chance of winning, but to, to win in the fashion she did, I definitely think, you know, she she surprised herself and kind of underestimated herself even a little bit. Her freshman year, I think she missed making an ECIC All-Star by like a half a second. Now it's like, you know, you're the fastest runner in Western New York now after this weekend. You know, she beat everyone else that ran this past weekend. With seven seconds left in the game, we got a corner kick and Josh Bird scored and he wheeled out and sprinted about 70 yards with the entire team chasing him to celebrate, which was a, a pretty cool moment, but I couldn't be more proud of him, especially with how you know different the preparation was for the year. Normally I'm able to you know be with them as they're preparing throughout the summer and in the fall. And it was just, they were responsible for so much of the prep on their own this year and they got themselves ready to go. And you know, every single guy showed up for the first day of camp looking like they were prepared for the season. And, the guys of themselves took on kind of some more responsibility than they normally would, and especially our captains as being kind of leaders of the team to make sure that everybody was doing what they were supposed to do to get ready to go.